Oh my god, I'm not wearing any lip product. What a f Whatever. Honestly, I'll just put that on later. Hi, everybody. It's me. Yep, if you don't already know, my name is Sarah, and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been months since I posted on here, and honestly, a lot has changed since then, but I'm not going to talk too much about just like what has changed. This isn't that type of video. This is a the rift haul video. Preface this by saying though that like s there's a few items that are not thrifted that I actually bought. Most of them are from Aritzia and I'm just gonna like show you guys those really quickly out of the way first. But before any of that I want to give you guys a really small very fast life update. So first things first I just turned 19 on July 8th. It's like July 22nd right now and I went clubbing. If you guys don't know the legal age in BC is 19 so obviously I went clubbing with my friends and I had an amazing time. I got home at like 4 a.m and I'm pretty sure I gave myself gastritis but you can look that up if you want I got tattoos okay I got one two and then one on my back right there um, I'll put some better pictures of it up on the screen because I obviously did not show that well started wearing my hair slicked back I was already kind of doing that before but like not like this I've gotten a lot more confident a lot happier and a lot more like just feeling like myself like I already feel better in front of the camera than I did before I also moved which I was already in this place in like I think maybe one or two of my other videos I think that's kind of it so I guess let's just get right into it okay so I'm just gonna start off with like I said the things I bought so one of the first things I got is this Ew, sorry I'm wearing pajama shorts right now only the top half of me is like cutified or whatever but this is this shirt that I'm wearing right now it's supposed to be worn like this but I'm gonna be honest I kind of like it like this like I have more broad shoulders and I feel like wearing it like this kind of like makes them look more broad it's got a little separation here I kind of like it when it's like separated more but like so I guess maybe I could do like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I like it like this. I literally got this a few days ago and it's amazing. Um, I think it's called the Kaya Top and it's from Aritzia. I got an extra small. Next thing I got is also from Aritzia. I'm gonna go super fast by the way because I actually have to leave for work in an hour and I also just like, I've got like a lot a lot of stuff to show you guys like I'm I've been kind of a thrifting god lately and I just want to like get it out there so this is um a babaton bodysuit it looks like this and there's like the crotch part or whatever it's got a little scrunch right here it's really nice I got this in extra small and I really like it um it's not that it's see-through but it kind of shows all of like the textures if you know what I mean I got this vest from Aritzia I got it in a size extra small it's denim form or whatever um I don't know what it's called exactly but it fits like really tight but just so everybody knows if you have a small chest it will gape in the chest which is one of the reasons I got an extra small instead of a small the chest part of it is gaping a little bit so I'm either gonna a wear a push-up bra or b wear like tank tops under it because if I were to bend over it would I would fall out or you can honestly wear it open I like it closed better so I'm not gonna do that or maybe I will I don't know don't quote me so this dress is viral literally everybody knows about this dress it's all over Pinterest TikTok whatever I got this from Kali I'm never gonna order from there again <laughs> Which sounds really messed up, um, but I think that Kali's kind of like Shein Core, and I don't shop from super fast fashion places like that that mass produce that much. But I just bought this because I needed a birthday dress really, really quickly. I've never bought anything from there before. It's really nice. Uh, it wasn't color see through at all, but so unbelievably texture see through. I only bought it for my birthday. I'll show you some pictures of my birthday. They're so cute. Like, this was honestly so nice, and it didn't fall. Like, it did not slip. I have not really much chest, so I was really scared that my chest was gonna pop out and it didn't once like I wasn't scared I was dancing all night and it was comfortable which was fantastic I got this cute little top from Aritzia it's from the brand Sunday best and it's an extra small super cute um it will like your arm fat is kind of out a little bit but I am not so conscious of that but if you are then like maybe I don't get the top um and something great is it's adjustable like the straps so you can have them like tighter looser uh whatever you like just depending on like the height of your chest I'm guessing and then the last store-bought thing I have is this skirt also from Aritzia it's a little bit wrinkled right now I can't remember what it's called but it's something like to do with the old age or something like that I don't know what it is but it's from the brand Wilfred is that the brand or is that like the type of skirt I don't know I got this in a size medium so that I could wear it low rise and high rise because it has a don't know why I threw an accent on that um but it has like an adjustable string here which actually is very supportive like I will wear this high-waisted and naturally it fits me low-waisted but like it stays up when it's high-waisted which is great starting off 
with the thrifted stuff, y'all. I'm so pumped to show you guys. Oh my God. Okay, I'm actually so excited. We're gonna start off with simple. We're gonna start off with shoes. I've only thrifted three pairs of shoes, I think ever, to be honest. So these were supposed to be a birthday pair of shoes. They're just like these cute strappy sandals. They're honestly not in the best shape, but like I just said, they're supposed to be birthday shoes. I didn't end up wearing them on my birthday because they're a little bit too big, but they're from Reitman's originally, just simple. Little, oh, excuse me. These, oh my God, so cute. They're from Nichols and they are just like, I'm pretty sure they're a dancer's shoe. Like I think like the bottom of them is like really hard. And I feel like that, like, I feel like this is like belongs to like a salsa dancer or something. And my mom said they also look like dancing shoes. So they're like that. They're so cute. I haven't worn these yet because I don't know. I really value the state of my feet. And if they get sore after a day of walking, then I, I don't know what I'll do. So I don't know why I've been buying so many heels, but like I really want to wear these soon. I don't remember how much any of the stuff I'm about to show is by the way, um, because the tags are all off because this is what I've thrifted over the past few weeks because I was just like, why do a bunch of little videos when I can show it to you in one video? Like I've only been recording eight minutes and I've already showed you all of my new Aritzia stuff in two pairs of shoes, you know? Okay, last pair of shoes I got. These really cute, chunky, sandals i actually they're open toed they fit me really well they're in honestly pretty good shape too like they're really worn obviously like you can tell they're really scuffed up but they are super cute they're from harley davidson what i didn't actually know that you can see right here it says harley davidson that is so random that is so funny i did not know harley davidson sold shoes like this what okay uh that must explain why they're like so heavy, but okay, moving on. Next up is belts. One of these belts, I honestly think that I need to like give away or give to someone because it is, it's not that it's too small on me, it fits me, but it fits my waist and I wear a lot of low rise. Actually, no, I have one pair of ho uh, oh, I have one pair of high rise jorts, so I'll probably wear them, but the look at this, it's like pink and this is a dark brown, like it's not black, I don't know if you can tell. This is the buckle, oh can't focus hello this is the buckle it's got a few little gems on it and it's gorgeous see like it's really small though like it'll only fit me high-waisted i don't even know if that because i haven't tried it on in a while and i've gained a little bit of weight it's just totally fine um okay next belt that i got super fantastic super amazing it is like a cowboy belt it's got three horses on the buckle which i love i also like that it has gold and silver um i've worn this quite a few times it's just gorgeous just cowboy belt next belt that i got is just a simple literally it was five dollars it still has this thing on it i accidentally stole that so sorry value village um it was five dollars and this is the buckle it's just simple i wanted a brown and a black belt like this like it's literally just simple little brown belt just because i don't know i think it's just like a, a stick <sighs> hello i think it's a staple my god Okay, last belt is on a pair of one of the shorts that I'm about to show you, so let me just take it off. So this belt I got at the same time as the brown one. Uh, it just has, once again, super simple belt, belt buckle. That's that. I need to like fabric glue it though, because where I wear it, it's like separating. Okay, rude. This is this belt that I got from a vintage store. It's actually phenomenal and beautiful, but I have not really worn it much yet. It has like a circle buckle, which I really like. It's very 70s hippie. It's just like this really beautiful embroidery all around it. Beautiful. What time is it? 3.45. Okay, I have to leave at um, 4.30. Next up, let's go to jewelry. So I thrifted these earrings that I'm wearing right now, just the first ones. The other two are from Amazon. This is my one of my favorite necklaces right now. It's just it's from the brand Sarah Coventry, which actually I think went out of business. I have two pieces of jewelry from them. One of them is a watch and one of them is this. And it's so like a staple, a staple. Oh my God, I actually have so much thrifted jewelry. Like I'm gonna have to not really describe them a lot. So just like bear with me here, okay? I thrifted this gorgeous big circle hippie necklace. That's the pendant or whatever. I thrifted this, which I wore on my birthday. It's just a beautiful heart on like a cord necklace and it looks like that. It's a little translucent. This is also a staple necklace of mine. It's brown and it's just got a little tile with like a butterfly or bow or something on it. I thrifted this just because I have some um, like cord that I can attach this to. And I feel like at crystal stores, those types of necklaces are usually expensive. Okay guys, I was about to buy this necklace from just some really good um, sustainable brand that I found online, but shipping was $30 and the necklace was like 20 bucks. So I obviously didn't buy it, but I found the exact necklace that I was going to buy at the thrift store two days ago. This, it's just 
beautiful, messy, silver heart. You've probably seen this on Pinterest. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm actually like, I thrifted this cool bracelet just because I really like making sound. This chain with the beads. I did not thrift this locket. This locket is from my amazing aunt. So yeah, I just thrifted this bead apart. Oh, actually, did I thrift it? I don't remember if I thrifted it or if it's from my boyfriend's sister. But um, shout out Amanda. This beautiful, oh my God, gorgeous silver bracelet that has these little blue scenes on it. I'm pretty sure these are all actually like images from the Bible. Uh, I am not specifically religious, but I also didn't even notice that one of them literally has baby Jesus on it till I was home, so that's that. Just a cute charm bracelet I also thrifted. Love, love that sound. Another silver bracelet, just got a little moon on it. I love the moon, but I love the sun more, but obviously I love the moon because I'm literally a cancer and we're ruled by it, so it's like, hello. Oh my God, I thrifted this super dope cross necklace, okay? <sighs> It's, oh, this is probably my favorite necklace I've ever thrifted. I have only worn it one time, but it is. Oh, sorry, I'm getting like really high. I got this necklace. So I haven't worn it once. I'm just gonna wear it with probably like a plain white t-shirt or something like that. I thrifted this gorgeous, oh, hello, hello. Gorgeous silver necklace. It's orange and pink with like a little rose. I also got this gold necklace. It's super long. Um, I don't normally wear super long necklaces, but it has this really pretty like few flowers on it. Okay, I actually need to start hurrying. Like I've been recording for 17 minutes and I have so much clothing to show you. So this necklace is honestly, I just love, I just, I can't like, I'm also sorry I'm looking at the viewfinder so frequently. I think that's what it's called. Like the camera thing here. I honestly just like, I'm looking to make sure I'm like focused properly because all of this jewelry is hard to show. I don't know what this is called, like kind of teardrop situation. That's probably my favorite shape of necklace. Okay, one more teardrop or whatever necklace. I just thought this one was really pretty. This really pretty necklace. Now the time we've all been waiting for clothing. Oh my God, I actually need water. I'm so dehydrated. Okay. I thrifted these big boy jorts. They were honestly expensive. I got them from a vintage store, not a thrift store. They are fantastic. Yes, I'm one of those girls who wears pants that are like 80 sizes too big and then just uses a belt or shoelace. If you've seen my TikTok where I'd mention how I would never wear like a shoelace belt, I actually like them now. And you know what? Don't come at me for that because opinions change. So I also thrifted these jorts. These have like this little thing on them, which I think it's like Carhartt or Wrangler or something where the jorts have that too. But I don't think that these are that brand. They also have this pocket thing on the side. I actually love these. I'm gonna try and see where they're from. I can't find the brand, but they're really cool. Just a nice light blue and I just love them a lot. And I've honestly worn them a lot already. So I also got this skirt. Now listen, I really like this skirt. It's really cute. I haven't worn it yet because honestly, it's just starting to get hot enough to wear stuff like this on the daily. But I, oh, I also just bought two black tank tops. Oh my God, okay. I bought two black tanks from a, or two tank tops from Aritzia. They're both the Wesley tank, I think they are. I actually can't tell you enough to buy that. I have a short torso and it goes right to my waist and like a little bit longer and they fit phenomenally. The white one I just bought recently and it is a little bit see-through, but I don't really care about that. Like I kind of think that nipples are accessories. So that's just me though. But I also have the black one and I have worn them nonstop. So if you're gonna buy any tank top that's like a staple in your wardrobe, I suggest buying the Wesley tanks from Aritzia. Moving on two tops and dresses that I've thrifted. So the first thing is this, it's literally a garage t-shirt. It has the band Dark Romance on it. Don't know if that's a real band, but it's literally just a little baby tee and it's from the little boy section, but it's originally from garage. So always make sure to check the little boy section. I thrifted this honestly a while ago. It's a guest t-shirt. I actually adore the way this fits me, but um, I sweat way too much in it. So I just think that like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I don't like wearing it that much, especially not in the summer. And it honestly is pretty tight on my armpits, so that like makes me sweat more. You know what I mean? I thrifted just these two basic tube tops. I'm pretty sure these are like super old garage. They're both a size small, I believe. They're just like cute colors. 
Like, I think that they'd be really cute summery, both with the skirt that I just showed. I got this, which if you're like, Sarah, what is that? So this is a Hilfiger shirt. It's like a muscle tee. I have a huge, I'm like a huge whore for wearing big, big t-shirts or like muscle tees like this that are super oversized and I don't wear bras usually but I'll wear a bra under them and I'll tuck the side of it into the bra and it is so cute okay so I highly recommend trying that and it's got like these denim things here okay moving on I've shown you enough of that stupid hill figure shirt but it looks really good okay so I'm not really gonna be in a super specific order anymore like with like dresses tops blah whatever 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 yo, yo. <sighs> these pants I thrifted a few months ago they're originally from silver. They're like vintage silver jeans. They're mid-rise. Um, this is like the pockets. I like that they're outside. They are like, I don't know if they're boot cut or flared. And the back pockets are really cool too. They fit me really nicely. I thrifted these from the lingerie section. And if you're like, Sarah, why are you showing me these? Oh, wrong way. These are little shorts. I love when girls wear like boy short black underwear underneath stuff like this and like a little baby tee you know like i think that would be super cute i also have a more out there style so it's like disregard i thrifted these big parachutey pants from uh valley village but they're nike and they have like this string that's broken so i tied it they're size extra large from the man men's section i just have them super scrunched in they have some like light blue slash gray detailing on them and they have a zipper down the side of the leg so i can make them like super parachutey as well as like adjustable strings on the side i thrifted these like actually a year and a half ago but i felt like showing them I wear these all the time. The zipper and the button broke, but my boyfriend is phenomenal and he has a sewing machine and he makes clothing, just saying. So yeah, he replaced the zipper for me because he's literally a god. Look at that, beauty. And the button, and it's a little star. I'm literally getting stars tattooed on me. Like I've always been a whore for stars. Anyway, they're originally Levi's and they're just beautiful. They're just greenwash. Um, I think they're like straight slash wide leg and they are also men's and they're low rise. So I thrifted this, it's beautiful. I've worn this to bed. It's a little itchy to be honest and the boob pieces are like a little bit big for me, but it's still really cute. I thrifted this gorgeous lingerie top. It's super inside out, but it like, kind of goes to like your figure and the bottom of it's really beautiful and um like i just said it's inside out and for some reason actually i know the reason i'm running it to work i'm not putting it right side in um but it's just oh my god it's so freaking cute okay so i thrifted this army t-shirt and i cut off the neck out and i really really like it like that <sighs> oh my god this vest is so cute it's from the little boy section it fits me really like snug like it's not like overly tight it's like perfect and i oh i also oh, it's literally <laughs> i thrifted this so recently it's a little black mini pleated skirt and i want to wear this beautiful black corset that i thrifted a while ago underneath this vest with that black mini skirt and my docks with frilly socks god that would be so cute i'm sorry that i'm starting everything off with i thrifted this like that's probably getting really repetitive but i got this beautiful crocheted top from the thrift store that i'm probably just gonna wear with like a little black tank or a little white cropped tank underneath that's like pretty much the same shape and just George. Okay, this looks really ugly on the hanger, but it is one of my favorite shirts. It's like a long sleeve button down, super baggy. I like to wear it off the shoulder. This is not actually thrifted when I about to show. It's a skirt. It's from Club Monaco and it's a size zero, but it's just super cute. It's kind of honestly like a cargo skirt, but it's not. It has these strings on it. It's a little bit messed up. Like these clips are kind of coming off, so I'm going to have to get um, Colby to fix that up and it's got pleats here and it's just cute just cute i thrifted this beautiful skirt okay like isn't that just so stunning so i got this skirt it's originally from the brand jessica so i wear it low rise it is like it's got this beading along the the like, sides of it and the bottom of it is sheer. I don't even know how to begin, which, so like I'm not going to because I actually am in a rush, but. Okay, second to last thing that I have got is this dress originally from Mariposa. My mom told me this is like an 80s brand. I don't know for sure if that's true, um, but the straps are like this silver and black braid, which is, I'm gonna be real, a little bit itchy, but it's just the straps. It looks like this. It's 
genuinely just so beautiful. It fits my chest very well. See how it's kind of like scrunched here? It just is phenomenal. It's got a very, like not very, but it's got a fairly low back, which I love. Like I love having my back out because I just think it's like really nice and I have my back tattoo here um which by the way guys i have another appointment on august 20th which maybe i'll vlog anyway the last thing is this dress <sighs> like you're telling me this isn't the most beautiful thing it's not it doesn't have straps these are not straps it's a tube dress it's originally from collection I've never heard of that. I actually need to get it taken in. Colby's gonna do that. It's got like a little scrunch situation on only this side and it honestly fits me just so beautifully and it drapes beautifully and it's a beautiful length. Like everything about it is just, I adore it. Okay, I'm actually gonna show one last thing that was not thrifted, but it's kind of like a little bonus item. So I have this beautiful sweater. It's one of these, like you've seen these all over Pinterest. I know you have. Um, I'm obviously just draping over me. It's more see-through than this. It's gorgeous very like stretchy but super baggy if you're looking at this like this is just because i haven't cut it off yet and it's just phenomenal it's all one piece there is no like seams or anything like that you know what i mean and if you're wondering where i got this beautiful piece of clothing that is soft and very well made it is from my beautiful amazing friend and coworker. her name is jessica she is phenomenal she has made quite a few knit things for just her friends for other coworkers that we have and they all turned out beautifully i haven't had a chance to wear it yet because it's been blazing hot outside anyway that's the last item i am so happy to be back to posting already this feels a lot better i don't know i feel like i just i needed a bit of time to just kind of find myself you know i'm not even gonna say that in like a joking voice like i needed some time to find myself okay like i needed time to recollect my just brain and everything like i just i really needed some time off of any extra priorities not that youtube isn't a priority but it's just that like youtube uh, excuse me is like it's something that is my own decision like it's not like it's my job you know what i mean like i have a job but it's at a restaurant anyway guys i really 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 hope that you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it i actually feel really good i love you all so much i hope that you all had and continue to have the most beautiful day morning night whatever you're having and i hope that you have the most amazing luck in school in work in life and whatever you're doing and yeah i just think that you are all so fantastic thank you for clicking on this video you have nothing to worry about i don't know what i'm talking about right now I'm just giving you some affirmations and i love you all so much and thank you so much for watching once again Mwah. goodbye everybody